How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Pleasure to be with you on Thursday as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second, man. Uh, your, Steve, your free pick winner today, uh, let's go with um, a couple of good games on the board today, but we're going to talk to you about uh, Milwaukee and Houston as your free play. We're also going to talk to you about Brooklyn and Indiana and Dallas and Detroit today. Uh, lots of really good games, so excited to, to get this to you. Nice free play winner yesterday as uh, we gave you a nice winner on... Um, I think Tuesday we gave you Portland and um, do you do you know what that alarm means? That alarm means it's time for me to get my free pick video <laughs> to you. Try to stay as uh, as methodical and as consistent as we can. Um, but yeah, it's funny the alarm went off while we were doing the video for you. But uh, but yeah, uh, nice free pick winner yesterday. Hopefully we'll try to make it three straight free pick winners again on Tuesday. We had Portland for you. On uh, yesterday, I think we won actually all of our uh, free play, and we don't really count our leans, but we did do well in the leans as well, which is, of course, a good thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, we gave you the Wizards to beat the Lakers, and they got it done. So hopefully we'll try to make it three straight free pick winners for you today. Um, so one second here. Let me update that. But yeah, 2-0, uh, 133, 107, 285, 216, and uh, 1366 and uh, 10 18 free pick run so let's get to your free play winner today and uh, i know some of you missed the uh the yellow background uh that we had <laughs> in the past i think that the text just got a little too much but uh uh we might uh we might do a, a smaller background for you in the future but um but yeah um a much much smaller background i think at the end of the day people kind of know what's going on and uh, a little bit of text is fine a lot of text is uh, might not be so much fine, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, what do I need to tell you here? We have a six-unit hockey selection today, which we're excited about. Seventeen and three hockey run, obviously. Um, as it relates to the NBA, um, we didn't have a great day uh, in the NBA at all yesterday. But hopefully, we'll win our four units. I think we made some changes. I think we'll be okay. Looking forward to the four unit today between Golden State and Minnesota in the NBA. Baseball excited about our selection. Korean baseball, we continue to roll along nicely. Uh, I think our winner was fifteen to six or fifteen to four on Doosan. Uh, 10 and 2 Korean baseball run, 17 and 3 hockey run. Um, baseball, we have won four straight years and hopefully we'll post a solid winner today. Um, and of course, uh, and soccer, uh, we're looking forward to a solid selection today as well. And that is going to be a, uh, a three unit between uh, Manchester United and uh, Roma today at 3 o'clock. So there is your recap here between. Um, Baseball uh, between the Cubs and the Braves, five straight winning or four straight winning years, I should say. Um, and the NBA three units between the Warriors and the Wolves. I think it's actually a four unit selection. I'll double check that. Uh, six unit hockey selection today, the three unit between Roma and Man U. Uh, boxing seven unit winner on Saturday, three and oh, the last three weekends of the MMA. Uh, Korean baseball, uh, very nice run at, at 10 and three as we're continuing to roll along there. All right, let's get to our free play winner today. I like the uh, Houston Rockets today, uh, plus the points. I know it's a little scary to take the Rockets, given how they have done this year. Um, however, I think they're going to play well today. Um, you know, the thing about the Houston Rockets um, is that, so you can grab them at about plus 13 and a half today. And I know it's scary to go against Milwaukee. Of course it is, because Milwaukee is Milwaukee. Um, but however, I think this is a dangerous game for Milwaukee, actually. You might think I'm crazy, but I think this will be a competitive game today. Uh, I think Houston is not going to the playoffs. I think this is their Super Bowl, if you will. And they're going to look forward to this game, and they're going to show up, in my opinion. Uh, if you are the Rockets, what else do you have to look forward to outside of this game and Giannis coming into town? There's only so many games that you can look forward to, given that you're not relevant uh, but when Giannis comes into town or Luka comes into town, I think these teams, that's exactly why Houston beat Dallas, if you remember. remember? They won that game and Dallas was so frustrated and uh, Houston shockingly won before John Wall went out for the season. Um, and I think these are the type of games that you cannot simply think that teams are bad. They can't always remain bad against the spread wise. They will catch up. The market will correct itself, um, and Vegas will correct itself. And I think Houston is one of those teams. It's not like they don't have talent. They have Tate. Porter's taking over the point guard duties. They have Olenek, who's playing phenomenal. Um, he's one of the best fantasy players out there, actually, Kelly Olenek, and then Christian Wood. So I think this team has plenty of talent. They hang tough against Milwaukee today. Giannis is coming into town. Middleton's coming into town, and they're going to get up for this game. 
Um, and despite all these injuries, I think the Rockets have enough talent to hang tough today, plus the 13 and a half. Don't forget, these Rockets did cover recently uh, against two good teams uh, in the Clippers and Denver, and they're able to cover that big line, and I think they can do that again today. Brooklyn and Indiana, if you're looking for a high-paced affair, uh, look for the over in that game. Brooklyn won by nine points last time these two teams met on March 17th on a total of 229 and a half. The game was very high-paced and went to 239 on closing. Uh, Brooklyn has covered uh, three in a row and seven of nine as well. Um, as they've started to kind of gear up heading into the playoffs, if you will. They come off clinching as well, and so did the Suns. Indiana did win three in a row, and they had um, you know, a 20-point loss to Portland in their last game. So they'll be frustrated, and they'll come back here on a, on a decent effort. And I think they can be a decent dog. Uh, I know the total is high, but I think it's going to be a fast-paced game. And remember, Brooklyn now has Mike James running the point. They only had eight guys on their roster who was active against the Raptors game when they covered. And James loves to push the ball. He comes over from the European League. Durant is back, Griffin and others. And I think this team, can, if they can put up 116 against Toronto, meaning the Brooklyn Nets, I think they're going to drop 125 or 130 against the Pacers today who just don't play defense right now, especially with Miles Turner missing the last, you know, he's been missing eight or nine games at this point. They're only inside presence, like the over in that game. As far as Dallas and Detroit in the NBA, keep an eye on the under in that game. You know, Dallas beat Detroit by, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Dallas beat Detroit by four points back on April 21st. Final score was 121 to 117, and that game went way over. Uh, the total was listed at 217, 217 and a half, and went up to, all the way to 238. So Dallas beat Golden State by 30 points, obviously, in their last game, but it was much worse than that, especially on that 28 and nothing run, which was the second best run ever in the NBA outside of a, a game in which the Bucks were involved when they went 30, you know, on a run. So it was an embarrassing uh, effort for Golden State, but it was great for Dallas. But what goes up might must come down kind of thing here. And don't forget, these Pistons covered against the, the Clippers as well. Um, I love underdogs in general. I think the Clippers, you know, this these Pistons continue to play hard for Coach Dwayne Casey. Um, the guys that he has on his floor, he coaches them hard and they continue to play well. And I think they'll play really well defensively. You know, I don't see them giving up 120 points to Dallas as they gave up last time. I think they'll get up defensively. He's a defensive-minded coach. And I don't see Dallas giving up 36 points like they did to Detroit just a week ago in the first quarter. There's no way they forgot giving up 36 points to the lowly Pistons in the first quarter, 36 or 33. I think that'll motivate them to play great defense. And I think both these teams will play pretty good defense today. And um, if we had a YouTube premium, you know, which we will eventually start back up soon, um, this would have probably been the YouTube premium selection. So that is what we have for you guys. I uh, hope you guys are doing well and enjoy the content. Uh, it has been a pleasure uh, coming to you today. We always love working hard for you each and every day. Please take a moment and like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.